the hum of electricity, the glow of our devices. These are the constants of modern life. We rely on a vast, interconnected power grid for everything. Our homes, our food, our communication all depend on a steady flow of electricity. But what happens when the grid goes down? When the lights go out, will we be plunged into chaos? Imagine a world without smartphones. No internet, no television. ATMs go dark. Gas pumps stop working. Grocery stores become empty shells. This is not science fiction. This is the potential reality of a grid-down scenario. Our dependence on electricity has made us vulnerable. We've traded self-sufficiency for convenience. But this reliance comes at a price. A price we may have to pay when the grid fails. The time to prepare is now before the lights go out. Our power grid is a marvel of engineering, a complex network of power plants, transmission lines, and transformers. Yet it is surprisingly fragile. A single point of failure can cascade into a widespread blackout. Natural disasters pose a constant threat. Hurricanes, earthquakes, and solar flares can damage critical infrastructure. Acts of terrorism or cyber attacks could cripple the grid, plunging entire regions into darkness. Aging infrastructure exacerbates the problem. Outdated equipment and inadequate maintenance increase the risk of failures. The grid is a system under stress, vulnerable to disruptions both large and small. We must acknowledge these vulnerabilities and prepare for the consequences. Ignoring the risks is like playing Russian roulette with our future. A few hours without power can be an inconvenience. We grumble about missed TV shows and warm refrigerators, but we adapt, finding ways to entertain ourselves and preserve our food. Life goes on, albeit with a few hiccups. However, even short-term blackouts can have serious consequences for the unprepared. Medical devices may fail. Security systems could go offline. Traffic lights go dark, leading to chaos on the roads. For those with health conditions, a power outage can be life-threatening. Without electricity to power medical equipment, they face a ticking clock. The elderly and those living alone are particularly vulnerable. Short-term blackouts are a wake-up call, a reminder of our dependence on the grid. They should serve as a catalyst for preparedness, prompting us to take steps to mitigate the impact of future outages. As hours turn into days, the veneer of civilization begins to crack. Extended power outages push our systems to their breaking point. Food spoils, water supplies dwindle, communication networks fail, panic and desperation set in. People fight over dwindling resources, crime rates soar as law enforcement struggles to maintain order. The social contract, already fragile, begins to unravel. Hospitals, reliant on backup generators with limited fuel, face agonizing decisions. Who gets treated? Who gets turned away? The sick and injured become victims of a system stretched beyond its limits. Extended outages expose the fragility of our interconnected world. They reveal the dark undercurrents of human nature the survival instincts that lie dormant beneath the surface of our civilized society. Long-term grid down, a new dark age? The complete and prolonged collapse of the power grid is a nightmare scenario. It's a scenario that could plunge us into a new dark age, a world without the conveniences and technologies we take for granted. Without electricity, our modern way of life would grind to a halt. Transportation, communication, manufacturing, all would cease to exist as we know them. Cities, once vibrant centers of commerce and culture, would become uninhabitable. Food production would revert to pre-industrial methods. We would depend on our ability to grow our own food or barter for it with others. Clean water would become a precious commodity, fiercely guarded and fought over. Survival would depend on self-sufficiency, on our ability to adapt to a world without electricity. Those who are prepared, who possess the skills and resources to thrive in a grid-down world, will have the best chance of survival. Prepping 101, Essential Supplies for Power Outages Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. That's the motto of any prepper worth their salt. And when it comes to power outages, preparation is key to weathering the storm. Start with the basics. Water, food, light, and warmth. A three-day supply of water per person is crucial. Stock up on non-perishable food items that require no cooking. Flashlights, candles, and a battery-powered radio are essential for illumination and information. A first aid kit is a must-have for treating injuries. Don't forget essential medications and any special needs items for infants, the elderly, or those with medical conditions. Consider investing in a generator for backup power.
However, remember that fuel is a finite resource. Use it wisely and prioritize essential appliances. Water, the lifeline you can't live without. Water is life. We can survive for weeks without food, but only days without water. In a grid-down scenario, securing a safe and reliable water source is paramount. Start by filling every available container with water. Bathtubs, sinks, pots, and pans, anything that can hold water should be utilized. Consider investing in water storage containers for long-term storage. Learn how to purify water from alternative sources. Boiling, using water filters, or treating water with bleach can make it safe for consumption. Familiarize yourself with these methods before disaster strikes. Remember, a grid-down situation is not the time to experiment. Have a plan in place for water procurement and purification. Your life may depend on it. Food and cooking. Fueling your survival. An empty stomach leads to desperation. Stockpiling non-perishable food is essential for surviving an extended power outage. Canned goods, dried fruits, nuts, and energy bars are good options. Consider your dietary needs and any allergies or sensitivities. Rotate your food supplies regularly to prevent spoilage. A well-stocked pantry can provide peace of mind during uncertain times. Cooking without electricity requires alternative methods. A camp stove with a good supply of fuel is invaluable. Learn how to build a fire safely and efficiently for cooking and boiling water. Don't forget about sanitation. Proper food storage and hygiene are crucial for preventing foodborne illnesses, especially in a grid-down situation where medical care may be scarce. Security in the dark. Protecting your family and possessions. When the lights go out, the darkness can be as dangerous as any natural disaster. Crime rates often surge during power outages as opportunists take advantage of the chaos. Protecting your family and property should be a top priority. Secure your home with sturdy locks, reinforce doors and windows, and consider installing a security system that operates independently of the grid. Be aware of your surroundings. Stay informed about potential threats through your battery-powered radio. Avoid traveling alone at night and be cautious when interacting with strangers. Remember, your best defense is preparedness. Having a plan, securing your home, and staying informed can deter criminals and keep your family safe during a power outage. First Aid and Sanitation Staying healthy in a crisis Injuries and illnesses don't stop during a power outage. In fact, they can become more common due to accidents, contaminated water, and lack of proper hygiene. A well-stocked first aid kit is essential for treating minor injuries and ailments. Familiarize yourself with basic first aid and CPR techniques. Consider taking a first aid and CPR course to gain valuable skills. Maintaining sanitation is crucial for preventing the spread of disease. Without running water, proper hygiene becomes even more critical. Stock up on hand sanitizer, wet wipes, and toilet paper. Have a plan for waste disposal. Designate a latrine area away from your living space and water sources. Proper sanitation can mean the difference between staying healthy and succumbing to illness. The Will to Survive Mental and Emotional Preparedness Surviving a grid-down scenario requires more than just physical supplies. It demands mental fortitude, emotional resilience, and a will to survive. Fear, panic, and despair can be as debilitating as any physical injury. Cultivate a positive mindset and focus on the things you can control. Stay connected with loved ones and maintain a sense of community. Remember that you are not alone. Many others are facing the same challenges. Help your neighbors, share your resources, and rebuild your community together. The human spirit is remarkably resilient. We have overcome challenges throughout history. By preparing ourselves mentally and emotionally, we can weather any storm and emerge stronger on the other side. 